control room should be off to the right. I hope we're doing right. Hey, hello, folks. They're typing it back in the outer worlds. Hopefully, we're able to do what we need to do here. The geothermal plant. Nicely done. Here. Processing. Not real, you're not real. You 
not real. You're not real. No, 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 just leave me alone. Mind the scene. You're liable to get scalded. Beginning secure.
three switches. That'll be easy enough. Send the power to Miss McDevitt. What happens to the veil? Get away! You're not real. 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 Get away from me, Phantom. Sue, scram. You can talk? The Phantom's never talked before. Oh, I knew I shouldn't have eaten that sprat raw. See? See, Higgins? This is why you must always boil your sprats before ingesting. Of course. Do excuse me. I experienced brief flashes of mania during which I am visited by the phantoms of my imagination. Chester D. Higgins. The D stands for definitely not insane. I use it as a reminder. Mm, hard to say. By my reckoning, Higgins has been here somewhere between two weeks and forever. My recollection's a touch fuzzy these days. Oh, Higgins has been many things over the years. Sprat Wrangler, Saltuna Critic, Aetherwave personality, chairman of the board, galactic defender, sisty pig tycoon. I've come a long way for someone who started off as a simple engineer right here in this plant. Jimmy'd opened the vending machines. That lasted a good couple of months. Eventually, I had to resort to more unconventional means of filling my insides. Mechanicals lost their bolts. Opened fire on anything that moved. It was pandemonium. You mean, why did the Mechanicals go on a murderous rampage? Same reason any of us do, I suppose. The voices told them to do it. I was on cleaning duty at the time. My old boss had me scrubbing pipes when the killing started. So, as usual, I missed out. I specialized in auto mechanicals, drones, sentries. Repaired them, maintained, upgraded. Did it all from my old workroom just over in the next section. Oh, before. Definitely before. Sisty Pig Tycoonery was the apex of my long and storied career. Mechanicals lost their bolts. Opened fire on anything that moved. It was pandemonium. I was on cleaning duty at the time. My old boss had me scrubbing pipes when the killing started. So, as usual, I missed out. Look, I don't want to fall into any trouble with the Mechanicals. If they wise up to our plans, they will come for us. With prodding irons. Over here.
Once we do this, there's no going... Hey, mister? Look, I know you want your power regulator and all, but... I just gotta ask you. Do you understand what you're about to do? I don't think you should cut off Edgewater's power. I think it would be cruel. I I'm sorry. That just sort of came out all at once. Edgewater's hurting. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough Saltuna to fill our bellies anymore. But the town's got some good people in it. Decent, hard-working folk just living their lives the only way they know how. They don't deserve to be punished. Well, that sure sounds like Mr. Thompson. If he was standing here, I imagine he'd remind us of how we're all one big, happy Spacer's Choice family. In Mr. Thompson's eyes, those deserters are still part of the Spacer's Choice family. The family must work together in order to survive. I hate to say it, but I think Mr. Thompson's got a point. Unless those deserters come back, Edgewater's as good as dead. Cutting off their power might be the only way. Sorry, I didn't mean to babble on like that. I just... I felt like I had to say something. Really? I mean, wow. Thanks. I, no one's ever told me those words in that order. That's the thing about growing old. Your eyes start to fail. Elsewise, I would have seen you for the snake that you are. Chopped you into pieces and roasted you on a spit. 
This is all you're doing. Cutting off my power, killing off my garden. Without refrigeration, my food will spoil, and my flock will starve. I want to ask you this in private, away from the eyes of my flock, so they do not see me lose my temper. Tell me, why did you do it? You killed my garden, destroyed my community, sentenced my flock to a lifetime of slavery in Edgewater for a power regulator. Well, shit, I wish it was personal. Go talk to Grace and Thomas. Look them in the eye and tell them their life here is over, and the only thing left to do is go back to Edgewater. This is now your responsibility. And you tell Reed Thompson that I will never return to Edgewater. I would rather die among my flowers than live under his management. My son worked in that cannery. When the plague started coming, he was one of the first to fall sick. We had a store of medicine locked away, but Reed refused to treat him. Said my boy didn't deserve treatment. Said the medicine would have been wasted on him. So I buried my boy in the cemetery, gathered my belongings, and left. That's as much of a story as you need to hear. All right, well, I'm going to break. I'm not really getting into this. I thought I was going to uh, enjoy a replay. Uh, I may play again later.